The oil giant Shell has won its appeal against a landmark ruling which ordered the company to drastically reduce its carbon emissions. A Dutch appeals court has dismissed all claims from the 2021 climate case, stating that Shell was already on track to meet its emissions targets. Well, for more on this, I'm joined now by DW's chief climate reporter, Louise Osborne. Louise, the 2021 ruling against Shell was celebrated as a huge victory for climate activists. We've got a clip from back then showing them celebrating. Fill us in on how all this came about. So, I mean, there were a few NGOs, including Friends of the Earth, that filed uh, this court case against Shell. Um, the court that back then ordered that Shell needed to follow worldwide agreements on reductions of emissions um, in line with the climate change that we are seeing and to cut all of their emissions by 45% by 2030. Um, at the time, uh, it really set a precedent and triggered a snowball of uh, climate litigation against companies like Shell. Um, and it was a very significant ruling. Well, now that ruling has been overturned, how significant is this reversal? I mean, it's really significant. It really talks to the responsibility of oil and gas companies when it comes to the emissions leading to global warming. Um, the court actually said today that, you know, they are responsible for some of their emissions. So they are responsible for the direct emissions that they cause themselves by uh, drilling for oil and gas. They are also responsible for the uh, emissions that are caused by the energy that they use, for example, for, uh, for their electricity and, and other things that they are doing. Um, but critically, they are not responsible for the emissions caused by people using their product. So burning oil and gas for, for heating or for transport or, or any of the other things that we use it for. Um, and that is really significant because that makes up a huge majority of the emissions that gas and oil companies have. Um, and if they are not responsible for them, then who is? Yeah. And this ruling comes through just as the COP29 uh, climate summit is getting underway in Baku, Azerbaijan. Could this shell ruling have an impact on negotiations at COP29? I mean, it really sends a mes message when these negotiations are taking place about the responsibility of oil and gas companies when it comes to uh, climate change and the extreme weather events that we are seeing. Um, it has an impact, for example, on the targets that uh, countries are putting together to try to reduce their uh, carbon dioxide emissions, uh, which are obviously uh, including companies that are housed within those countries. Um, the International Energy Agency, for example, has said that there should be no new oil, gas or coal fields, you know, kind of invested into um, if we are to achieve net zero by 2050, which is the aim of many countries um, at the conference. Um, and obviously that is going to be problematic to get to when companies are still moving forward to, to dig for oil and gas. Um, it also says something about financing. Um, the COP at the moment is focused on financing for developing countries, and they are looking at new ways of making sure that they have enough money to get away from um, fossil fuels. Um, one of the suggestions for new sources of financing has been a polluters pay principle, which would basically be some kind of tax on oil and gas, uh, sorry, on polluters such as oil and gas companies. So it says something if they are not responsible for them. Okay, we'll keep watching that story. Uh, our chief climate reporter, Louise Osborne, thank you very much.